Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy, episode 80, recorded on April 9th, 2020. I'm Agent Cooney Guy. Agent Dewey J. Agent Vane. And this is Agent Academy, where we talk about Ingress, the ARG mobile game that uh, uh, people go used to go outside and people play. go nowhere right now. I remember they look at their screen and recharge stuff. Oh, but there's we'll card that car dressing, car dressing, and talk about that more in the news. But first, I want to hear about how you're getting out and rucking. Thing. Oh goodness! Yeah, so it's either involving, you know, putting on a little bit of face covering. Which, if I don't have the mask, it's it's going to be something like this. Oh, link established. Because I don't want to waste masks, and I did not buy any N95s, so it's surgical masks or bandanas. Uh, currently, where I'm at, it is you know highly suggested, highly recommended that if you go outside, wear a mask. Um, unfortunately, I seem to be the only one going outside actually putting a mask on currently. So, current apartment I'm complex, from you. trying to escape the complex is interesting, having to basically like play Frogger across sidewalks to dodge people. Um, so, that's not quite as fun as I would like it, but hey, I've got a couple of portals I can hit. Uh, while I'm out rucking and try to get a nice loop in. It's like five kilometers, a couple of miles there. Well, that sounds like uh, not too dangerous. Keep it safe. That's good. And portal resets? Oh, yeah. I've been trying to, to, to catch up on my backlog of portal resets and just vanguard work in general because if i'm if i'm stuck inside my options with ingress are you know kind of limited and as much as i would like to sit here and say that i've been doing tons of wayfair uh that's not currently happening <laughs> it's I, either work. I said please vane i've got some portals that need some loving you need to get in there and <laughs> give my portal some loving hey you got some portals that. you got them approved only four you got six well, more that are right next to those four just have to lie and tell people we live in your city. When you got that one approved that I definitely said I would one star, so All I right. guess other people didn't share that mentality. Well, there's four of them that look just like that. They're just di different quotes on the signs, on the plaques. Not si They're plaques, kind of. Um, <laughs> apparently plaque enough, so six more of those in the same parking lot, and we'll have a legit possible farm. I mean, that'll be the most portals in, like, an area that small in, in Huntsville. Are they close enough that they could, uh, Pogo players can be able to use them? I believe so. I mean, it's, it's, um, there's like, if you imagine in a parking lot, there's probably two to three slots between each lamp pole. Mm -hmm. And then there's two rows of those. So there's six that I think you could probably get four or five. Maybe more no. in Pogo. I don't know the distance in Pogo. Yeah, I, I think it's an S. Is it an S3 sale? Yeah, I don't remember. the. But also it needs to be in a park, I think, something like that. So I don't know whether it's considered a park. I think it improves its chances. That it's in a park? Is that a thing? It has to be in a park? Well, that's what I've been told. They said that they get raids better if they're in parks. Oh, raids. I could see that. Yeah, I mean, there, there's the whole like secret sauce of what becomes a gym and what doesn't become a gym. So, well, I think I, you're I a gym, don't so. dive into that too much. Um, 
I just want to, when I submit things, I'm submitting them because I want them to be portals. So sorry, other Niantic games. I know that you want gems and you want greenhouses and everything else, but I want portals, dang it. It's what it's all about. Yeah. So what else you been up to, Goonie? What have I been up to? The virtual badge. Oh, it's my turn. Well, yeah, um, it's your turn. Got the, you know, did the, the virtual NL meeting. I assume everybody did that, or not? Maybe. So probably some people got it and didn't even know it. There were quite a number of people that got it and were pretty unhappy about that situation. So I, I had more than a few people asking when they could resume gameplay and not get it. And Don't know if any of them were vigilant enough to prevent it, but do we know if that's when? When is that over? Or is it? That was, yeah, that has ended. Okay. It was active pretty much, uh, depending on your time zone, um, from March 31st up until uh, April 2nd, I believe they turned it off with uh, GMT time change. And it, at the same time, it was the uh, AAP for doing stuff too, right? Or was that a different time? I've been, compl- like, I haven't left the house. <laughs> <laughs> to like go to work so I haven't like really played Ingress except for um, that one day that, that uh, was it just one day I don't know there was some double AP and they gave out the new things and um, I think you're, you're thinking of the Apex yes but the new Apex item but there was a day they were giving out more AP for or maybe it's oh it's ongoing right yeah currently AP recharging for, uh, recharging 65 AP so, so if with you're the really double added on to that um, it was, I, I mean, I got like a hundred K, uh, AP just recharging stuff. Um, where, where it was the only time I was in a car. I'm trying to think what, what, were, Oh, my wife had to get something from her shop. So I rode with her, uh, to go do that. And, um, so anyway, I was like, Hey, some AP pretty good bit, uh, just for recharging the whole way, except for you can't recharge if you're going over. The speed like speed. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. I mean, you should just be sitting at home recharging. Stay at home recharge and just... Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, those things called keys. You recharge can... each individual resonator as you go around. No, actually... I, it wouldn't let me with the keys. Like, I was getting this error message when we were going above a certain speed limit. I don't know oh, if yeah. it was something weird or something new because I'd never experienced that. But yeah, I never recharged... Charge. You can't well, charge her. You're doing over forty mile an hour. Yeah. So. Yeah, you're gonna get the you're gonna get the speed lock. And yeah. No, no. Now you could sit at home and charge as long as you got the keys. Well, but I was in a car, so I couldn't sit at home while I was in a car. <laughs> you I can park in the driveway. That doesn't seem yeah. very complicated. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't have to be complicated. Oh, uh, speaking of cars, I have been in mine and moving quite a bit. I'm still working. Um, in a situation that I'm in that, uh, hey, it sounds like the van. Um, that, uh, so I, I'm still, still essential at this point. So being moving back and forth. So I have been able to get out and do some hacking and that kind of stuff. Aren't you uh, retired? I am retired. How are you essential it, if you're retired? Uh, I don't know. I'm doing it exactly wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Stay at home. Stay at home. Well, it's, yeah, I'm masking up, and I, really, it's it's a deal that you know. I go into somebody's office; it's not there. I take care of their stuff, and I go away. So I'm not seeing people, um, but I am staying home as much as I can, doing some tech directing for some churches, some other people, putting out some streams. I did get out in the car and tried my hand at a homogeneous, a homogeneous three-layer field. Had it all planned out. Took me hours through it. And figured out I screwed it up. So not <laughs> as easy as it sounds. Everything was good until the last throw. And the last throw didn't triple up like I thought it would. So something's wrong. I may have to hire somebody to map that out for me. Tell me what's going on. <laughs> but, but I have been able to walk the trails like you have. And got a couple of a couple new portals in. Um, and I think it's probably easier now. Because people are sitting at home and doing you know, Wayfair. And then you got the Pokemon players that are probably doing the same thing, and they're figuring we'll just load them up. So that's pretty much been my week. 
So we're going to have like a portal jubilee, is what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, I think the people are going to yes. go on a portal. Yeah, they're going to go on on unique trips. I mean, when they're able to get out, I mean, you should be able to do lots of new uniques. So towns that you've been to and you wiped out, it's like, oh, you can rediscover them. You know, there's another 20 portals there. So. Yeah, should they, should they add some um, AP to that? Doing what? Uh, I don't know. I, I think mean, they, I, they, they did add something to add AP. I don't know if they need to do any more. But well, we can get to that. Like, doing things... I mean, it's a different time right now. Everybody's doing things to help people do stuff at home. So it's like, why not the things that we're allowed to do at home <laughs> and uh, should be doing at home anyway. Hey, like throw some AP at it while people aren't able to get out and get AP. And yeah. you know, I, I don't, I get some people be, could be upset cause it's like, uh, and they could open, I guess they can't open it up to everyone. I guess that's the big thing, right? They can't open it up to people under a certain level. Maybe they could practice. So if they're under a certain level, they could practice it and get AP for practicing if they get, got them correct. Not correct, but you know what I mean. Got a so like a, like a glyph trainer, and they get a little AP. Not not the full AP that they would get from glyphing, but a little AP for be doing it successfully, hitting all four, hitting all five, something like that. I meant doing like Wayfair, like so. Oh, Wayfair. If they're under the the level to be actually able to do it, um, because they haven't, they might not know the criteria and everything they could still do it but it wouldn't count towards whether it's a portal or not but if they got um you know chose the same thing as the majority of people that um they would get ap so sort of a trainer yeah like a trainer yeah, yeah i see what for, you're saying for wayfair yeah but the glyph hacking thing that sounds like a, a cool idea too i mean you're not getting items but you're learning and and yeah. Uh, if they did it on their website, because they could build that, um, or they could even do it in the app itself and have some sort of just trainer built in. Yeah, I know there's some there's some companion apps that that are glyph trainers, so I know that it can be done. Uh, but yeah, just make it as a a mini mini game, I guess you would say, and then uh, you know throughout, you know, ten AP or something. You know, yeah. I wouldn't want to give a whole bunch. Because I mean, it's it's a hard. I mean. You know, it's it whatever's comparable to people getting out and doing stuff with their app. I don't see any difference if they had some other things that you could do because you're not supposed to get out right now, you know. And so it's like a company whose motto is, you know, get out and move. It's like, well, maybe we should um, incentivize our player base not to do that right now and Even let's inside the house give them a way to get the same amount of AP indoors without like, you know, spoofing and, and, and crap like that. Um, and I don't know. I, 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 I don't think people should get upset about that. I can understand why some people might, but mm -hmm. I just think that, that, um, I don't know. I want to play ingress, but there's no, uh, recharging. Isn't fun. <laughs> I hate <laughs> recharging. And I think Vane's yeah, dying a little inside from saying was, that. Recharging was never meant to to fill the like downtime in, in quite the way that it has turned into. Um, I'm trying to think what the actual technical term for it is in terms of game design, where uh, since the ingress is in you know mobile ARG, there is active gameplay in the field, and then there are things that you can do at home. Like, there's some terminology for that. It'll come to me later. But Ingress doesn't really have a great balance of things that you can do while you're kind of sitting at home versus some of the other games. I know Harry Potter Wizards and Unite has, like, a ton of crap that you can sit there and just continuously do um, at home. I could be horribly wrong on that, but from what little I do know about that game, there, there is quite a bit that you can kind of do remote at home. So yeah, a lot of, you know, a little bit more stuff that. spawns m more often than when I played mm -hmm. Pokemon Go in Harry Potter, it seemed. So, like, when they had, like, their events, I could actually play that at home for, you know, 
20, 30 minutes and then put it down and then come back and stuff would be spawning again. And I think, you know, you could add the things to make things spawn even faster um, or separately, I guess, they spawn. So it's like that mechanic, if they put in the red faction or something where we were actually battling them and they would show up at locations that weren't necessarily on portals, they could be around your house, basically. I, I don't know how different that would be in the game or what they could do. They they but may be working towards that. Is that something we're going to be talking about in the news? I, I think that'll be something we'll be talking about in the news. Well, do we want to just go ahead and move on into that? Sure, why not? Um, <laughs> uh, they brought back, um, I think it's Fev Game, is it Fev Games that brought back the teardown? Uh, so they're looking into uh, the Prime Scanner as it comes out and finding all these bits and pieces of things that are being added for future use or might be it for use right now to get some clues as to what's going on. Yeah, and that was one of them. Uh, <laughs> if, uh, if you didn't, has to have your scanner open in the past. I don't know what's a week two. Uh, you what is you time? Probably, what is time? Um, but if you haven't hit it at the right time, you may have noticed that your avatar was the NL thirteen thirty one van. And if you tap the van, you got. Bane, there's your cue. Uh, I, I closed the app. Oh, too late. The app. Too late. You get the beep. Um, so th and that was some of the new things they put in there. So. Uh, full of things that, that they found. Um, they're, they're finding a number of variables that seem to be related to something called battle beacons. So some comm alerts, uh, so notifications of beacons being deployed, um, some preview information, preview finished. So it looks like they're going to use the comm channels for this thing called battle or battle beacons um they do have some pictures that leaked out about the battle beacons and you can find those out there um so evidently they're they're larger beacons than the regular beacons uh so they might mirror some functionality as raid indicators in pokemon go uh so that's probably what we're gonna what we're looking at may come out it's not there yet but maybe they're rolling it out, doing like Goonie said, something that you can do without having to be out there to move around. Although I would think a battle, you would have to move around a little bit. Well, and I um, wonder if it's just a beacon that's like, hey, I want to fight. Come here and I'm going to try to hold this portal kind of thing, you know, where it's not actual functionality. It's just another beacon that you put on a portal. I mean, well, there's, some more, images, there's some more uh, stuff there. Um, they... They they did find some scoreboard and round stuff uh, in there. There was some Sounds reward cool. stuff uh, and a in. tutorial. So it looks like, this is a guess, some oh. capacity rewards. So you've always talked about getting two thousand more than 2,000 items. Uh, they found a string called inventory capacity reward. Um, so they're wondering if that's the reward for the battle, that you can pack more away. Is than the, your regular 2000. Is the purple tape denote something? I'm just out of the gray stuff. So how many times I, I can he, get, he is trying to prevent himself off. from saying something, evidently. <laughs> this is all conjecture. I have, I have no inside information. That is going to hurt so bad when you pull that off. <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh, interesting. So it, it yeah. could be like a, a mini shard battle or something. Could be. I mean, yeah, we're, we're really not sure yet. Again, we're just going off of things they're finding in the code that they're that they're putting in there. Um, so, and it looks like it could be player uh, made battles or NIA generated battles. So, who knows what it's going to be? But it does look like they're they're laying the groundwork. And I've noticed they've done a lot of oh that hurts that hurts. They've done a lot of uh, changes on the servers in the last week or two. Seems like every couple days, like, hey, we're working on the servers. Good time. If things yeah. are going slow. Um, so maybe that's it. There's that. So you were talking about new stuff. There's some new stuff. Yeah. Um, and sponsor locations? Is that Sponsor locations. Looks like they, they found some stuff in there. Um, 
you know, you had it with AXA and Lawson and uh, some place that you could get a soda sometimes. Sorry, um, okay. okay. There are strange <laughs> things afoot there. Um, but and Ido ends, they're still in there. Yeah, Ido ends are still in there. Um, and things. still got those. So it looks like they said that they may have some changes. Um, so maybe more like what they're seeing in Pokemon. Again, I don't, I'm not a Pokemon player, so I don't know exactly what those look like in that game. Well, I know in Harry Potter, um, some of the, I don't even know what they're called, either the, are the towers, the wizard towers, mm-hmm. like at and I think is a sponsor, one of the phone companies. And so all their locations are a thing. And so their logos in the thing and they have a little message, you know, come on in for this. And I think some of them would say like, come on in for some free loot or something. And, and maybe you can get a code or something. I don't know if that's yeah. still a thing or not. Do you know Pokemon Go had, uh, I think, Sprint stores and also Starbucks for a while. I don't know if either of those are still ongoing as sponsorships, but I'd be... I'd be pleased to see more sponsored items. I always thought that worked better for Ingress because every item kind of ended up getting its little like dossier saying, here's what this company has been doing is like a secret front to this crazy war of XM going on. So they have all these like Batman style R and D departments where they're like, ah, we're making all these exotic matter items for Starbucks. Yeah. (laughs) Well, it's like, you think of like futuristic cyberpunk type movies and it's like all those like ads and stuff from McDonald's and Taco Bell like I I think it fits I think it's okay to kind of throw some of that in there and I don't know if anybody was ever upset about Circle K but I mean you can't get really any more kind of just not spammy but just kind of I don't know not what I wouldn't think would be in a game right like it it doesn't fit like the other companies that they use for for the most part. At least it, I mean, it's it, American. It made sense from the aspect of, you know, in the States, uh, car dress being as, as widely adopted as it is in more, you know, rural areas where you're, you're not really going to just be able to go out and walk and hit every single portal that you need. So, Ingress agents are more than familiar with filling up their gas tank. So, yep. yeah, but I, I think mean, like in the tables, lore of Kind of like wow. ingress, just like. But they had the Circle K logo was baked into the lore, so there's actually a glyph, uh, sustain all, which is like a big K, with the circle, and that, that's the the Circle K logo. So there's a whole like two page document that explains how the the founder of this company was influenced by exotic matter to, to basically create the whole brand. <laughs> he was making a Slurpee and he got hit with XM. Is that what you're saying? And has been searching for all these like power spots. And, and some of these circle K locations were like dud excavation sites and all this craziness. So global conspiracy. So see, they can fit anything in there. That's, that's the point. Like they can fit anything in there. So this is, you're right. It's perfect for, sponsorships and of that mm-hmm. sort of nature. As long as they don't overdo it, like you said. I mean, it's, it's you know, you don't want a commercial every time you turn around. But it'd be, you know, I, I don't mind, you know, every now and then you run into something. And every time know, you open some of your newer players you may not even something. recognize that that some of those things are, you know, sponsored. You know, and I bet there's, I bet there's a number of players that have no idea that that's a T. They're just like, oh, that's that's a neat name. At least in America, where... <laughs> yeah, Americans. Yeah. You know, it, it's... Oh, so sad. It's so sad. <laughs> yeah, as Americans. Don't, don't speak our sad. language, go away. But it's <laughs> it's um, actually getting bigger here in America, and it's probably because of Ingress. So think about that, companies. It's all because <laughs> That's probably of what it is. Um, it's a couple other tweaks that they found some information about, of course. The Avatar sound, which is the 1331 horn. Um the resonator north indicator. Thank you. There's the horn. Uh, that evidently they're going to be able to tell us which way's north. And people are it's asking for that. It's in there. Um, enable show other map avatar. And one way seeing other avatars on the map. Don't know. 
Wow. So I already folded up my tape. <laughs> Put the tape on. I, that's one of the little things that they found a piece of. So they're wondering if enable show other map avatar means that you can see other agents on your map. It's an idea. I could see oh. them doing that for certain things, maybe. You can yeah. you can hear other agents now attacking, and you can see recharge occurring. So I think it yeah. wouldn't be too much of a stretch. I'd like to see that myself in terms of. I know there's the whole deal with privacy and, and all that other stuff, but if you're if you're active in game with game actions, I think you know, you're you're pretty much known. Your location is known at that yeah. point anyway. And I, I bet that's probably something to do with the battles. That you know, if you're going to be battling somebody, it's it probably is advantageous to know where they're at, um, or to take cover, so to say. So I, I would could also hope it wasn't. Fire. Abs- like super accurate though. Like, yeah, they're they're over there somewhere. Could you imagine right. in, like how cluttered in an anomaly would get if oh, there geez. was to be? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> avatars. I can't see the world. portal. There's too many avatars. Toast toast avatars and November Lemons <laughs> everywhere. I can't can't see anything. Yeah, when they gave away all those toast beacons, the first first Saturday after that, there was so much toast in the air. I could see anything. So, yeah, I could see that becoming a problem. But, um, so, change is coming. Um, and subscription. They've gone his mouth. Uh, they're saying that Niantic members may be saying that uh, bringing some ideas to subscription services to Ingress and some strings that they are finding in the teardown may support that. So your idea, Goonie, of let us pay for some things, maybe somebody heard it and thought it was a good idea. Well, I think they said it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, you know, I mean, I guess I've always been like, you know, sell some stuff that makes sense that people want to buy. Yeah. Um, I don't know. If you subscribe, what would you get? A, a bigger tank or... Well, that's one one of the things they talked about. I think uh, Brian mentioned that about um, getting more space if you were a monthly subscriber. And and I don't know what else they would give. Um, they need to send like uh, make like a like loot crate, but for ingress. So it'd be like a you know capsule that you get every month with ingress swag and a code for a uh, beacon that you can put out to. Uh, do whatever a different beacon every month right but you only yeah. get it if you're part of the subscription and then you can either collect them or put them out on portals and it but doesn't prob- affect the probably game. yeah i was gonna say probably not something that's gonna tip the balance one way or another that subscription people are going to have an av- advantage over those that are non-subscription well it depends on um like what you consider advantage i mean if they give an extra thousand slots because you're a subscriber, that's kind of an, that's advantage. an advantage. That is an advantage. But also buying key capsules was too, mm-hmm. you know. But it's it's just kind of part of the game. I don't know. I I feel like almost they need to add in ways to do things in kind of like Pokemon Go and and Harry Potter. You need the space in those games, and you can work towards it slowly, or you can put a little money in to get that space faster. So I think if they do the subscription where they add more space, I really think they should think about adding in some way to kind of get more space by doing quest or whatever other things they add in at the same time, just to kind of level it where it's not pure, uh, pay to win. I, and I, and I don't think it's complete pay to win, but I think there's a lot of people who would make that argument that that's pay to win. If you don't have a way for, in game to do it and maybe they have things that are unique to those subscribers i know in uh geocaching they they have a subscriber and a free version and if you're a subscriber you there's certain geocaches that you have available to you that when they set it up to say hey these are for people that are subscribed only uh and the others you know the free people just don't even see it uh oh, so on the maybe app? yeah on the app so oh you know can you imagine even, that there being portals only available to people on oh, the no. subscription. <laughs> it's like it's like there's a link that goes 
somewhere. I, I don't know where it lands. It always seems to be the best anchors. That's right. The best anchors <laughs> are the ones that you pay for. That could make it for an interesting time. Yeah, I think there would be a lot of upset people. <laughs> yeah, I, I would be very worried about fragmenting um, the fragmenting game board the player anyway. base. Because yeah. if, if you end up, you know, saying, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll make some things subscription only for interacting, or, oh, we'll just make a completely separate game board that will just be subscription only, well, you're just going to drive um, participation in both down. Yeah. I mean, if it was there from the start, it wouldn't be too bad. But to put it in now. Yeah, until we get some players coming back into the game, which, you know, right now, kind of difficult to recruit. Um, so I'm, I'm very glad to see focus on things like, uh, you know, server maintenance and uh, just yeah. doing different infrastructure and laying the groundwork for functionalities. So whatever battle beacons end up becoming, um, anything that kind of gives us a little bit more gameplay down the road, even if it's not something we're going to be able to engage with now, I think it'll be for the better. Yeah. Speaking of new things, uh, one other new thing, um, the Apex Boost. Um, so they put it out there for a while. There were some free ones, so if you didn't get yours, you're out of luck, I guess. I, that went from, what, like April 1 to April 9? Something like that? Oh, they stopped that? People can't get it anymore. Uh, I uh, the free ones aren't there anymore. Is that correct, Vane? I think. I mean, you can still buy them in the store. Yeah, you can you can get them in the store, but yeah, free I believe is gone at this point. Okay. Yeah, and basically temporarily modifies the ingress scanner to multiply AP earned for thirty minutes. So it starts at thirty minute counter, and evidently that's visible on the map screen, and then uh, just. Soak up that double like double XP. Um, no, but it's and, it's not. It doesn't work for everything, right? Like for events and stuff, it doesn't like quadruple stuff. Yeah, it doesn't double a double. Um, so I think when it stacks, it doesn't stack the multiplier. It stacks the time. So I think you can stack the time out to two hours. I think is what they're saying. Um, so if you know if you're you're gonna double AP event, it doesn't do you any good to throw out an Apex because it's not going to do anything. Um, and they're not hackable. So I think the only place you're going to be able to get them is store, maybe from some codes, you would think. Bane? Yes? Hello? Uh, I mean, we had screenshots, too, of agents that were getting them for leveling up, and I believe before I shoot myself in the foot with that one, I'm going to go read the actual... Yeah, I think level up 2 to 8. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. And, that, and that's no, why they were given... Uh, and maybe that's what I was thinking of. They were, they were given... So I thought that's what the free ones in the store were for people who already leveled up past those levels. Who basically yeah. didn't get them? I think anybody could get the one. Anybody, free, ones. Uh, free across the board, but uh, levels two through eight, uh, you'll be able to get those as the level up. Uh, it will be in the level up kits. Not certain if that includes recursed agents at this point, but uh, I think it's been long enough. We would have heard from somebody recursed if they would have gotten those. Oh, so you don't think people recursed get them? I would assume not, because um, I think it's kind of like a first hits free kind of situation where they want you to get them early on while you're trying to level up, and then I would just assume it would be in the you know the the kit you get every level that's just kind of part of that, and they would add it in there. So since you get that when you recurse, it just I could see them not too, but it just it seems like extra code to. Not just go add this to the kit, right? <laughs> now they're like, well, you got to add in a way for them not to get it if they recurse. But if you go, yeah. if you level up after you recurse, you go level one. Do you get a level one kit? Yeah, I, I no, see. not not for not for level one. Uh, uh, level two through sixteen, you'll get a kit. Okay, I was gonna say because I remember getting kits leveling up, so I. I don't remember level one, though. I mean, that flies yeah. by so fast, I wouldn't even know if I got a kid anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, I got a bunch of stuff. 
So yeah, so the apex, um, I could see, <laughs> I could see those with frackers, just somebody throwing a heck of a party, uh, you know, so that you can just load up on gear and load up on AP in a thirty-minute span. Um, so there's that. Yeah, I think that's cool. I mean, I think that's a good good item to get. It's not. I I wouldn't consider it overpowering. I I mean I think it'd be cool to you know throw them out in other ways. Uh, those would be great for anomalies or events or you know maybe FS instead of just going hey it's double AP during the time. Um, you get four of those or two or something. Well, I bet those are going to pop out of FS uh, restock portals. I mean, it's if you're not going to be able to hack them, you're going to got to get them out there somehow. Um, you buy them. <laughs> buy them. Yeah, you, you buy get them. them out of the store for those chaotic matter units. That's right. How much, so, how much are they in the store? Did we mention that? Uh, I got to do the research. Let me look. They were zero C. <laughs> they were zero to so start I just went with. and bought 40 today, and it, uh, my bank called me because <laughs> I didn't realize they went up in price. Let's see. Let's get in the store here. Uh, the avatars. Apex. Uh, 2500 for one. 15000 oh, 2500 for one. 15000 for eight. So the avatar was like what five thousand for the vehicle? Uh, let's see what the vehicle is. Roughly. Vehicle is. Come on, view. Uh, five. Yeah. Five grand for the van. Twenty four hundred for toast. And then only five grand for a van. Five grand for oh. a van. Oh. And then the, the special ones: the spiritualist, the skeptic, the alchemist. And Dreamer, those are still in there for twenty five hundred. Well, that sounds cool. Yep. And then you can honk your horn like Vane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, what sound would the spiritualist make? I don't know. I, I, I don't know what out sounds you would add. It to sounds those. about the same. It's a, little, the same. a little lower. Boop, boop. A little lower. <laughs> boop, no beep beep. The skeptic? I don't believe that. <sighs> Oh, there. So yeah, they're they're adding things, and you know, we haven't talked about it in a long time, but it's it's Prime that allows you to do that. They're not stuck on that base that they had with Redacted, you know, which they were basically just keeping it alive. So now they have the ability to grow, and grow they are. But just if the player base would grow, it'd be great. Which yeah. I got a feeling. When uh, the stay-at-home orders are lifted, people will want to get out, and this might be an influx. For or we'll all evolve, and oh, no yeah. one will ever go out again. <laughs> yeah, that's what you Except green guys the believe. Weird people who see go rock. I'm okay with this. In parkour, did you say in parkour? <laughs> go rock parkour. Is that like a new thing? Yeah, yeah, that's how you get to most portals now. Just gotta like <laughs> parkour around all the stay-at-home orders. Uh, oh man, that sounds like fun. So yeah, I can't wait to get out. I think I'm going crazy because it's it's like a weird, um, I like I not purposefully. I'm working like twice as much just because like you don't even realize it like, Oh yeah, I started work like three hours earlier than I normally do. Cause I'm just sitting at my desk when normally I would be going out to go ingress for a couple hours before work. <laughs> and then it's like, Oh, what time is it? I need to go eat dinner. It's time to get ready for the show. Like the other night it was like, I is, I didn't even realize it was Thursday. So I, yeah, I've, a lot of people I've talked to, that. they're like, what day is it? Yeah. But just like, uh, flies by. Speaking of what day, I know that they, of course, called off first Saturdays for uh, April. Have they said anything about May? Nothing yet, but I think that's probably going to be a month at a time, if I had to guess. Yeah. 
Yeah, because most places here in the United States that we've been we were talking about it earlier, um, it seems like the the virus is going to peak somewhere mid April. But I don't know. Get you know, getting out there for our first Saturday in just two weeks after that could be pretty close. Yeah, I, I kind of have a feeling that even if there was a May first Saturday, I likely would not be in attendance, especially if it's here. I, I don't anticipate like our schools are, are shut down now through end of the end of the year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my son just graduated early. Almost today. expecting business to follow suit the same. That yeah. Basically, the, the high schools here, they just said, well, if you have an, an average passing grade with, the, you know, the first semester and like what your current grade is, um, you can go ahead and graduate. <laughs> Oh, huh. they just graduated and we're done. Yeah, so they just graduated them. They still, uh, you know, have to take like AP test if if they want to, and like even like oh, the people wow. who wanted to like raise their grades because they weren't really good enough to pass. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like they don't necessarily have to take the final exams or something weird. I don't know. It's just like okay, it's, this is crazy, crazy new world. Yeah, I mean that's in Illinois. They're going around and around about that. Is you know, do we just pass all the kids, or, or you know, give them a grade of where they were at, or you know, that's that's a tough decision. It really is. You know, and if they go back at the end, at least in our area, they're thinking maybe they're going to go back at the end of April. Well, they're going to have two, maybe three weeks, and it'd be tough to get three months in in three weeks. Yeah. Yeah, but it's what I think is cool is there's a, a lot of businesses and schools adapting. Like my daughter's mm-hmm. doing um, schoolwork from home, so they're all doing virtual classrooms and and um, logging into I don't remember which, maybe Zoom, maybe something else. Um, which a lot of schools are using Zoom. There's going to be a new uh, free. Uh, group chat up to 50 participants at a time coming soon. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to talk about it next week. But hmm. it could be a Zoom replacement for free. Could be. But uh, I'm sure there's a lot of those that are out there. But yeah, yeah we, well, I've seen a lot of, you know, a lot of churches in our area. Of course, all the churches have went online. Um, a lot of the meetings have gone online. Uh, there's a couple organizations that are old fogies, you know, our our lines are in our area t- tend to be older. They're like, oh, we're not going to screw with it. Yeah, but, they uh, just go out anyway. So it's yeah, like, uh, you know, no, the line, the lines are known in our area at least. You know, we have a meal, and then we might do some business. So there's there's we used to have business if we can't have a meal. I just feel like uh, you go to Costco or or Sam's these days. It's going to be just a bunch of really old people in there walking around because they just don't care. Like I swear, all my um, friends like they're like. Oh my God, my mom or my dad will not stay at home. I can't yeah. tell them. Yeah, I've I've got it. We've got a couple of people that have come into our shop. They're like, that's yeah, not going to stop me. You know, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die. We're like, oh, Jesus. Just... But you can make me die. Yeah, that's right. This. So but, um, it's, and, and I think that, you know, one of the hardest hit are, um, you know, like restaurants and, and mm-hmm. places like, like that, that, yeah, I some of them can do the the delivery or stuff. handing out on the curbside, but it, it's not the same as yeah. tips. But I tell you what, it's like what that. it's what I've noticed it really killing in our area is theaters and entertainment. So you know, I I work with a, a small theater venue, and they you know they just basically are shut up, and they can't do anything until at least May. And uh, so, you know, all those people out, you know, people who runs a, a movie theater and that kind of stuff. Although I'm seeing that they, they're they looking at a way that they can share movies. So they're they're trying to make that change. But yeah, it's it's tough when, when your job is serving hundreds of people at a time and that's how you do business. It's tough to virtualize that. Yeah. I will say one good thing I, I haven't, I have not heard. And I haven't, although Vane may have heard, I haven't heard anybody saying these, you know, Ingress players are out doing things or Pokemon players are out doing things. So that's that's encouraging. Yeah, I do know Pokemon Go has had a couple of incidents. Uh, <laughs> some of the news 
Uh, I, I don't know if any of them were in the U.S. widely reported, but there were a couple of other countries where people got pretty much like arrested for breaking stay-at-home orders, uh, for going out and playing pogo. Did uh, they stop raids? What's that? Did they stop raids? I mean, I assume they could do that from. Now, see, this, this is the part where if I had done if I had done my research, I would know all these things well, for Niantic properties. I do know that there have been modifications in Pokemon Go and Wizards. I don't know the specifics. So a lot of things that you would have to go out for, there were compromises made that way you could play remote. Uh, much harder to implement that kind of thing in Ingress because we aren't yet on the you know Niantic real world platform from the backend perspective. And I don't know... Like I'm assuming all the server change that they're doing is is for good reason, but at the moment we're we're pretty limited. Yeah, and the interesting thing with Ingress is honestly, I'm not telling people to go out, but honestly, if you are out, you could play and never see another player. Uh, you know, you don't have to have an interaction with another player. That's that whole idea of stealth, uh, but you don't want to have to practice your stealth from the local police. Yeah, and Pixelbytes from chat said that the remote raids for Pogo. Unless that's just because I know there was a lot of uh, air air support early on in Pogo. It's basically air support, but you don't get in trouble for it. Sort of uh, a blind eye. I don't know. Yeah, Maybe yeah, I, I, heard, oh, I heard. Pokemon the same thing. I need a fix on some uh, mobile games. I'll just yeah. walk around and get some fill up my XM tank. <laughs> Maybe I that's it up what they again. Need. Shoot some bursters. Maybe get that's nothing. what they need to do. Come up with a way that you can walk around your house and collect XM and things like that. Well, and that's one of the things that they've talked about implementing is some sort of cube um, that will, you know, generate items based off your your walking distance right so yep maybe that'll be something soon I, I don't know if there's really much more here to talk about hmm? um so folks should holler and send us things they want us to talk about next yeah. week when we will Possibly. have nothing else to talk about even more there, there hasn't been anything on the tessellation any, any uh, round eight results got posted okay so there was a youtube video for that um it's out there. You can go find that on the Ingress channel. Resistance are currently leading, I think, at 102 points to Enlightened at 84, Nemesis at 54. Don't quote me on those numbers, though. I'm just yeah. blindly trying to go off of memory. <laughs> <laughs> Closer than anyone else is going to get. Cause <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't know, looked either. Yeah, I, I do I, know I Res is point. leading currently. Yeah. So. Goonie, we're going to have to pull all of the, the secret Tesseract we've been hoarding in the secret stash out. No, no. Right. Uh, Vanguards get those? The, you can get me some. <laughs> <laughs> They're in the bottom of those lamp posts. Yes. I can't wait. Did I even mention that? Four. Four out of the ten. It's going to be cool. We'll see. How um, did I, I... The numbers. I, I butchered the numbers, but in a weird way. <laughs> It's two. Res one. 104, Enlightened 83, and Nemesis 52. Uh, you're basically right. Ah, so we'll come in second. So second is JBJ two. Blaze in the chat room? Because I think so. I do not have the passcode page oh, no. done. I'm sorry. It'll be done by this weekend. Uh, but JBJ Blaze, if you're there, give me a passcode. We'll make it the passcode this week. A A something A A. Hey. can be something we've already used, and you know them all. So <laughs> I'm just going to type it down, and um, while he's thinking about that, uh, we'll just mention that um, we were you were talking about the videos and stuff. Or we got into a beta for our Twitch channel that we can now uh, stream Amazon Prime movies and uh, TV shows and even their like stuff on our channel and watch it live with like our stream viewers. And so we can, like, watch TV together, but apart. 
and and we can have all this fun with stupid stuff but it won't be like it'll just be like us in the corner or something and so we can talk about the show or something sort of like a mystery science 3000 yeah maybe not i i'll probably just want to watch it (laughs) (laughs) one of the ones i saw that i've been wanting to watch the series because like my whole family seen it and loved it and all my friends and i don't know why i haven't caught it but parks and rec like i haven't watched it yet like oh you gotta i've watched a few episodes and it's good but but i thought maybe start streaming that like once a week or something just go through some episodes and watch them with folks just spin hang out would it be possible to do the ingress animation no because that's netflix and not on amazon prime which is weird because it's got prime in the name like (laughs) i know that was missing just a perfect opportunity there well, I have to talk to him. Ingress Spain, Prime, get on that. Amazon take care Prime now together, and All snap it into a slim gym. I don't know why that went that way, uh, but <laughs> went south quick. Sometimes the voices just kind of happen; they just take a hold of you, and they come out. So the quarantine talking. Yes, it's the quarantine. And that's it. Uh, so, uh, oh no! Don't send it secretly. I don't know where to look secretly. <laughs> Uh, maybe it's in Telegram. Yes, okay, so... The passcode given out by JBJ Blaze is AA Easter Gress. AA. So that's Easter G-R-E-S-S. So this will be up, like, on uh, Saturday following this recording. Thanks for that, JBJ Blaze. Anything else before we call it a night? Wash your hands. Lots. Lots. Re- recycle and recharge. Keep alive. Hey, I will say, I'm going to nix this, but I'm on day 99 of my sojourner, so I'm going to get the triple digits tomorrow. Ooh. And, and first time? Awesome. Uh, I think I've got 156 before I lost it last time. So I got another 60 oh, nice. days or so, and then I'll start ticking it up. So I believe in you. So, that's one of us. <laughs> I think I'll, I think I'll at least break my old streak that, but I'd like to get the full 360. We'll see. So, and I'll have to, um, this new streamer, so the old streamer, like I could pull up a window over y'all's window and it would stay with that window. Apparently this one, if I bring up something over y'all's window, it'll actually show that through. So I got to go make sure when I edit this one that like uh, I wasn't sending y'all's passwords across uh, <laughs> the stream. That could be bad. So um, anyway, hopefully I wasn't. No one go back and look at the uh, uh, feed and see. <laughs> no, the, well, we appreciate yeah, the code is not going to work until, um, like, give it till Saturday. It's been a long it'd week. Be good, it'd be a good Easter present. You'll have to look for it. <laughs> right. Ooh, Easter egg. Mm. Put some Easter eggs on the site. There we go. I heard if you hit portals, uh, eggs are dropping out of portals real. Just frequently right now eggs everywhere you hit portals with eggs you hit portals no just with hit eggs. portals so and egg. vain wants everybody to throw yeah. eggs at portals no don't do that don't toilet weird. paper everyone's got toilet paper so if you're gonna do anything toilet you know tp portals <laughs> you can see people like running out there like rolling it back up running to their cars <laughs> yeah like i'm good for another week <laughs> Anyway, wow. so uh, you may see us playing some videos on the channel. So if you see it, come say hi. Who knows? Maybe there'll be a another code that JBJ Blaze has to give us during those. I don't know. You get crazy. Master. You may see us playing Minecraft. Hmm. There's some folks playing Minecraft. Some more than others. I'm not going to mention any names. Animal Crossing drops. So it's oh. just been nothing but Animal Crossing. I think that's where Zelly Billy's been too. Um, so, I'm all alone. No, you could no get like eight out of the island uh, and get that set up. You've got to have a switch in the house somewhere. My son, but 
my son and my daughter are sharing a Switch to play Animal Crossing. <laughs> so there you go. You can create a profile on that. You can. I'm pretty sure you can. You have the technology. You can stream off of a Nintendo Switch. I believe in you. And then I have no. I like. I've got to now. Uh, I guess punish both of them. No Switch for y'all. Y'all were arguing. You can't tell them to go outside and play. This. Can't do that. Give me your password. So I they have to it. sleep eventually, don't they? Well, yeah. Again. Yeah. But no, apparently not. Now that my son has graduated from high school and he's now a college man, he doesn't like. I'm like, okay, I still got to work. Um, so I know it's 2 a.m., but well, I am just getting to bed. But uh, yeah, we're seeing that a lot with our kids that they, they they game all night and sleep all day. Yeah. So, but what else are you gonna do? Get out and walk around. Possibly. Wash your hands. That's what you're gonna do. Yeah. So, All right. Yeah. I guess that's it. Y'all have a good uh, Easter. If y'all do the Easter thing. Have a good weekend. Yep. Be safe. Wash your hands. Hack Wash if you can. Ears. Go. Oh, don't touch your face. Get his masks out. Yeah. Yeah. Can you hack with with rubber gloves on? I've not tried that. If, if you get the uh, ingress gloves, they're uh, touch capacitive. Okay. Is that the word? So there's that. Okay. Bye.